Hey Cell Nation, this is Jay-Z here, I'm playing GTA 5 online, so let's go. Well, I'm not actually playing this because I recorded this footage on December 25th, so this is a post commentary, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Today I will show you how to rank up fast in GTA 5 online. Uh, when I made this video last week, I was level 925. I think I'm 936 or something like that now. It's real simple, go to online, Rockstar created missions and go over to the Los Santos connection. Now hold on there before you exit this video, I know what you're thinking. No, I won't just tell you to complete this mission like some other schmucks would do. Uh -uh, I will actually show you how to maximize the enemy spawns in this mission because the more enemies you kill, the more RP you generate in the end. Uh, nothing special so far, just make sure to set the mission difficulty on hard. And also, make sure that your aiming preference is set to free aim. This is very important as it will generate even more RP for you. So the mission starts. If you do this over and over again, you will start at Martin's house just like me right here. Because that's where the mission ends. First thing you wanna do is get in your car and do what the mission tells you to do, which is ambush the drug deal. I'll cut out all the unnecessary driving for you, because I want to keep this as short as possible. Now once you're at the drug deal, you make sure to kill everybody. There's one guy standing here in the alley, two guys behind the car, one guy behind that car over there, and one guy on the balcony up here. I also open the supply crates to collect some extra money. I'm sure most of you do the same when they play this mission, so nothing unusual yet. Then I just get into the Granger, back into my car, and then you'll see two cars coming into the alley. This is number one. Again, make sure to kill these guys. And now you can see I actually get 31 RP for killing someone. That is because the aiming preference is on free aim. This is car number two. Then you wanna head over here and look to your right, there's a third car. Again two people in there and again you wanna kill them. Once you've got rid of these bastards you wanna call up Pegasus and demand your Savage to be delivered. That is the Savage helicopter that you unlock by playing the Pacific Standard job. It's gonna spawn right up there at the hospital, so just pick it up and go to the depot in Elbury Heights. On a side note, I'm sure you noticed that I only get the 31 RP per kill for guys that come after me in cars. For all the other guys you get 25 RP. At the end of the video I will do the math and show you just how much RP you get with this. As for now, like I said, just jump in your Savage and head over to the depot in Elbury Heights. Once there go ham on all the enemies on the ground, they're not that many here, just keep firing until all of them are dead. Should only take a few seconds. Make sure everyone is dead, because one, they could kill you when you try to hack the computer and two, we don't want any survivors because we want as many kills as possible. Just fly around a bit, sometimes they're in hiding, just like this guy down there. Once you killed everybody you wanna trigger the enemy reinforcements, to do that just hover over the laptop so it says hack the laptop to trace the supplier and then you wanna hover right here and look into this direction. And here they are, now we're shooting right into the enemy spawn, just hold down the X button. There are 6 cars coming, you don't have to do much. As you can see they die as soon as they appear on the map. So all of them are dead now, simply go on with the mission. That means you have to hack the laptop. But before you do that, once again, make sure to collect those money packages. Now you wanna turn your attention to the hacking minigame and don't worry, you have all the time in the world. There'll be no more enemies coming after you until you complete this minigame.
So once you're done with that, you wanna hop back into your chopper, as Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. But before we go down to the LS International Airport, we want to get some more kills. For that, just fly over to the street, yeah, just like this, hoover over the ground and you can leave your gear down if you want, so if you get too low you don't damage your savage. Make sure to look into this direction, there will be 4 cars coming, that's number 1. Number two, number three, and number four. If they evade your rockets, just use your cannon, they're an easy target for that. And now we wanna head over to the LS airport, and that's where the trickery in this mission really begins. So once you're at the airport, you have this little plane right here. Do not destroy it yet, we will use it to get some more enemy spawns out of this mission. You wanna head right over to the hangar and hoover on the right side. We do this because there are two trucks parked on the right side of the hangar and we don't wanna destroy them yet. Stay on the right side and shoot everybody who's down there. Since you're playing solo there are not too many people down there. Again this will just take a few seconds. Now we wanna turn our attention to the coke, for that you switch to the cannon, go down here and shoot at the platform up there. You wanna destroy the coke and possibly kill those two guys. Once it says destroy the cruise vehicles you wanna turn to your left and look into this direction. There'll be six more cars full of guys who wanna fuck with you, so you do what you always do when people wanna fuck with you, you put them in the ground. As you can see right here, sometimes one of them gets behind you, so in that case simply back off a little and kill him with your cannon. It's really very easy when you sit in a savage. Don't forget to kill number six, that's that boy right here. And that was wave one. What I wanna do now is go out of my savage, get into the hangar and grab the money. There'll be four supply crates full of money in there, equaling a total of $6,000. So combined with the 2000 that we picked up from the other two crates, that's a total of 8000 bucks that you pick up each and every time you do this mission. Sometimes when you run in there, there's a guy hiding right at the trucks. You don't wanna bother with him, simply shoot that gas tank, don't worry it's not going to destroy the trucks and then you're free to pick off the money from the ground. Now I see one more enemy on the minimap, I'ma kill this guy really quick and then we go on to spawn the second wave of enemy reinforcements. So much for that guy. Now you wanna hop back into your savage and prepare for the most important part of this mission. Don't take off yet, simply switch back to missiles, turn a little bit to the right. Just so much that you can destroy these two trucks and immediately turn back to the left side. As now there will be 10 cars full of enemies coming after you. Make sure to destroy all 10 vehicles. They'll drive right into your rocket so all you have to do is hold down the X button and wait until all of them are gone. Don't worry about the supplier, just let him fly off for now, we'll catch him later. When all of them are dead you wanna head after the supplier. Now here's a little tip. When you're in an aircraft and you hold down the L1 and R1 button, you actually fly a little bit faster, so it makes it even easier to catch him. And to repeat myself, don't worry, you will always catch him, he will never escape. Not only are you faster than him, but there's also a glitch that makes him stop moving. 
once he reaches the quad center, you'll see that in a second. So do you see this? We're over the court center and he actually stopped moving. So just go on, pick him out of the air. That's the last kill for the mission. Now all you wanna do is go to Madrazo's house to pick up your RP and money. As for the timing of the mission, I always wait until 15 minutes have passed. At this point we are already 10 to 12 minutes into this thing. So it doesn't hurt to wait a few more minutes just to maximize the RP and money you can get from this, but that's up to you. If you don't wanna wait, just complete it as fast as possible and play it over and over again. So I decided to wait a few minutes and I'll show you the payout. Perfect, perfect. It's a pleasure doing business with you. That's the money and RP you get and now let's head over to the loading screen so we can do the math. For the money that's simple we take the 8000 that we picked up plus the 20400 for completing this mission makes $28,400 for a single playthrough. Now to the most important thing, the RP. We got 5160 RP for completing this mission, we got 91 kills, 58 of those were guys in cars. So that's 58 multiplied with 31, that is 1798 RP. Then we killed 33 normal enemies, so we take 33 multiplied by 25 and we get 825 RP. So now we got 5160 RP plus 1798 plus 825. So we get a total of 7783 RP for one single playthrough. Alright, I hope you liked this RP method, have fun ranking up now. If you wanna join my GTA crew, the link is in the description and I see you all later, bye.